Welcome to a short review of an utterly delightful toy from muchly underrated toy line. This is Night Beach 7 from the Real Gears. The Real Gears were meant to be released as a part of the Cybertron line, as a subline for that, and they changed into everyday objects. Mm, because the Transformers were hiding in that line on Earth. So yeah, that was a pretty good idea. Um, they appeared on the market uh, during the movie toy line, sadly, not earlier, but I'm really, really glad they eventually did. Um, people seem to dislike this line because they will admit that robot modes are wonderful, but somehow Transformers not changing to cars, planes, guns, so on and so forth, uh, do not appeal to them. You know, how can an everyday appliance make a good transformer? Impossible, just impossible, right? <laughs> yeah. So here's Nightbeat 7. He turns into kind of a MP3 player, loosely based on iPods, I'd say. Really nice mode. Mm, the buttons will not press or anything. We can see some cable in there, but that's minor. The back, <coughs> yeah, but we can live with that quite easily. You can see mine has a little bit of paint chip there. Sad. You can see this paint is tiny bit metallic and it adds to the look of this toy in this mode. He also comes with an earpiece, rubber, and it fits snugly over just about anyone's ear. I tried it on six or seven people. Yeah. Okay. The transformation. We will flip this part very gently. And you can already see translucent plastic laid over metallic paint. Very good idea. Very good idea. Then we'll take the front parts and split them. So we get wings. Very nice wings. And a robo bird face. Underneath we will struggle to pull the feet out. Okay. Hmm. Never did that this way and it's much easier. Hmm. Okay. I said he while struggling even more. Here are his little lovely birdie feet. Just take a look at these. So sweet. And we can stand him. He will stand and balance pretty well. Of course he won't at this moment because you know it's his secret. <sighs> Shit. Okay. After a little bit of posing, he will stand up. Oh, okay. Let's have a look at his face. This bird face. Mechanical bird. Nice beak. Nice paint apps. Tiny little Autobot logo. Very sweet. He looks so mechanical. It's awesome. He really is awesome. The wings will move like this, so I guess you can pose him in some kind of swooping poses. But I guess most people keep him this way. Very nice, very nice indeed. Oh, 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 oh. This earpiece also transforms like this. Wow, incredible. And it will peg just behind his head to give him a little firepower. And it doubles as a pretty, pretty good cannon. Amazing toy, I would say. If you haven't got him, pick him up. If you don't like real gears, just this one. Please, do it for me. He really is wonderful. And this paint scheme is much better at least in my opinion, than the previous one. 
Uh, he isn't called Nightbeat uh, for no reason. He is a spy. He is a detective in a way, just like the Juan Nightbeat was. And he is a bird turning into a musical device. No, that will never work. That will never work. Yeah. So he is kind of a double homage. Homage. Oh yes, that sounds bad. That sounds great. Um, a double homage to Nightbeat and to Laserbeak. Really wonderful toy. I cannot stress enough how good this toy is. For what he was meant to be, at least. Thank you very much. This has been Boy Loves Bowie with the very naughty birdie. Bye.